So basically the first year course is Introduction to Engineering and Design, and that class is mostly uh, introducing them to what engineering is, teamwork, uh, what skills they got to have, and then we focus real heavily on 3D modeling software called Fusion 360, so it's, that's where the design side comes into it, and introduces the kids to the creative side of engineering outside of just the math and the other skills. The second year course is Principles of Engineering, and that course is focusing mostly on the math, because engineering is all about applied mathematics. I like engineering because I like the mathematical, analytical, and problem solving aspects of it. Uh, and I also love the hands-on aspect. With engineering, you always work in teams because that's just how it is in the workforce. So we try to imitate that as much as possible so you can be prepared for that whenever you go out into the workforce for engineering. My third year course that I teach is civil engineering and architecture. Um, that class is all about what civil engineering is. They do various projects uh, that relate to that field. Uh, we also focus real heavy on a software called Autodesk Revit where they model houses, so they design houses from the floor up and do different uh, floor plans, learn how to design different types of houses, things of that nature. And then there's another third year course that we do that Ms. Scoggins teaches, and that is um, digital electronics. So that is all basically electrical engineering is what it is. A lot of circuit boards, soldering, stuff like that, coding those, and that's actually a weighted credit as well. The biggest thing is if you're interested in engineering, then you need to have the mindset of uh, the learning, honestly. That's a big mindset you have to have because uh, the field constantly changes. The software constantly changes, um, what you need to know constantly changes, so you have to be willing to relearn and learn new things constantly and to stay on top of everything. But the biggest thing is you got to be willing to do all the math. There's a lot of math classes you have to take, not just in high school but in college, and a lot of applied science. And you just got to push through it and learn how to apply it to whatever field of engineering you go into.